Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Singed, the Mad Chemist. Singed is a mobile, tanky fighter who excels at disrupting his enemies and dealing constant damage throughout a fight. One of Singed's defining traits is his ability to kite enemy champions, winning fights almost exclusively by running around. Singed's passive is Empowered Bulwark. A percentage of Singed's maximum mana is added to his maximum health. Basically, if you buy items that give mana, you'll become more durable. Poison Trail is a toggled ability. While toggled on, it leaves behind a trail of poison. Enemies who walk through the Poison Trail become poisoned and take damage over a short time. Mega Adhesive creates an area on the ground that slows the movement speed of all enemies inside it. Fling damages and tosses target enemy over your shoulder, landing behind you. Insanity Potion empowers Singed for a moderate duration, granting him increased health and mana regeneration, movement speed, armor, and magic resist, while reducing the duration of all crowd control effects on Singed. Singed is an extremely strong laner starting at level 6. I'm playing aggressively against Riven, pushing to her turret. Master Yi shows up to gank as I run. First, I stay in the brush, which gives me more time before being attacked. I turn on Poison Trail and try to make a run to my turret. Once he attacks, I use Mega Adhesive directly in front of myself, which would stop most champions. After Alpha Strike, I have one more trick up my sleeve. When he gets into range, I fling him directly into my turret. Knowing he will run, I land an attack or two, picking up the kill. Then I run as Riven chases me, but I've created enough distance that she drops to the turret and Poison Trail, giving me a double kill almost exclusively from running away. Once you've built an advantage, you should definitely press it and dominate your lane. Note that the playstyle here is buying as much time as possible for Poison Trail. Turn on Poison Trail and then Insanity Potion. I aim Mega Adhesive in the only route Riven can take to retreat. Once she flashes away, I use Fling to place her back into the Mega Adhesive. Finally, Poison Trail ticks down the rest of her health and I get the kill. While running around with Swain and Riven, I get jumped by Master Yi. I keep on Poison Trail and try to use Fling to escape him. I bait him into the brush, then turn around, flinging him over the wall. Sin Zhao comes to help me, and Swain is already low from Poison Trail. After his first kill, I lend aid with Mega Adhesive, helping him pick up Master Yi as he dives underneath the turret. Your mid-game playstyle is all about building a huge gold and level advantage while distracting the enemy team. Once you've completed Rod of Ages, constantly push down minion waves with Poison Trail, then look for nearby fights. Eventually, enemy champions will try to gank you, but with Insanity Potion, Ghost, and Mega Adhesive, you can escape most of the smaller fights. One quick note when playing Singed. You should bind Laugh to something easily reached on your keyboard. Whenever you have downtime in lane, you should laugh at your opponent. It prevents them from dealing tons of damage against you. Now, let's look at a game where it doesn't start so well. At low levels, basic attacks and other abilities can out-damage Poison Trail, so you want to be defensive. Here you can see Jarvan playing aggressively, knocking me up in a minion wave and taking over half my health. Thankfully, I barely survive, but this is obviously not a great start. This trend actually continues for a while, and I start the game 1, 5, and 2. However, after finishing Rod of Ages, I feel confident and have mana to spare. I run through Jarvan's minion wave with Poison Trail and fling him for damage. I keep fighting him until Riven shows up. I start to run, using Mega Adhesive to get them off my back. Poison Trail keeps damaging them, so I run back in, using Fling to damage Riven some more. Basically, as long as Insanity Potion is running, I like fighting. However, I can't dive into the enemy turret, so I hang out around the middle of the lane. Finally, they turn to pressure me, so I fling Riven away from Jarvan and separate them with Mega Adhesive. Now you can see Riven is about to die while Jarvan is powerless to help her. Mega Adhesive and Poison Trail cause Riven to die and I push into Jarvan. I let my minions tank the turret and run in for a fling, hoping to kill him. I take a little bit too much damage from the turret, dropping to 50 health as Jarvan falls to Poison Trail. Once you catch up, use your tankiness and utility to win fights for your team. Here the total score is 22 to 19, and I make a big play to win us a fight. Mega Adhesive separates Annie from her team. As Sin Zhao chases, I fling him into my allies, picking up that kill before his friends can hurt us. As our opponents pile in, I turn to fight Annie and Caitlyn. Though I get exhausted, I try to stay on top of Caitlyn, finally killing her with fling. Now at only 500 health, I run with Insanity Potion plus Ghost. I've bought enough time that Annie falls to Poison Trail with some help from Talon, causing their last two surviving members to run away. Rule of thumb when fighting Singed? Don't. Chase. Singed. Also note that Fling can help or hurt your teammates if they have area of effect abilities. Here we dive into Jarvan, and Fling causes Brand's Pillar of Flame to miss. 
In a different fight, using Fling actually places Caitlyn in Nunu's Absolute Zero, granting us an easy kill. Always be aware that Fling can totally backfire. For runes, I take Magic Penetration Marks, Dodge Seals, Flat Magic Resist Glyphs, and Movement Speed Quintessences. This setup is aimed at giving me a little bit of early game durability, and primarily focuses on strong kiting late game, with the Dodge Seals feeding nimbleness. My masteries are 0, 14, 16, making absolutely certain to take nimbleness and 3 points in strength of spirit in defense. In utility, you want to grab increased experience gain, maximum mana, and movement speed. I also take teleport and ghost, mastering both. Take a point and fling at level 1, and leave it there. Then, max poison trail as soon as possible, with mega adhesive right after. This skill build is aimed at dealing the most damage with poison trail, and increasing your utility to the team with a slow from mega adhesive. You can max fling over mega adhesive if you want to deal more damage, but I prefer the consistency of the slow. For items, I open with a sapphire crystal and two health potions. After, I have two extremely important buys, an early catalyst and upgraded boots, either mercury treads or ninja tabby, depending on the enemy team. If I'm getting enough gold, my first major buys are Rod of Ages and Rally's Crystal Scepter. If I'm dealing with a bunch of physical damage, I'll add Sunfire Cape, Randuin's Omen, Guardian Angel, Thornmail, or Frozen Heart. If I'm worried about magic damage, I'll turn my early Catalyst into Banshee's Veil and add Force of Nature, Spirit Visage, or Abyssal Scepter. Thanks for tuning in to the Singed Champion Spotlight. Please subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel up top and leave us your thoughts in the comments below.